going to be getting my COVID vaccine, which I'm so, so scared about. I am literally just about to make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna probably eat something and then get dressed. The COVID vaccine appointment is at quarter past one. And I think right now it's about 20 past 11. So I've got a bit of time to get ready. I've had a bit of a lay in this morning because I didn't sleep well last night. I kept waking up at like, three, four in the morning. I keep doing that a lot recently. If I can't vlog the actual injection, I will tell you guys, you know, how it was after and if I've got any side effects. You know guys, it's so nice that we're gonna come out of lockdown and be able to have picnics again and all cute things like that. You know what I think the best thing about this is that all care homes can now have one visitor come in per time. When I worked in the care home before I left, you know, there's a lot of people with dementia and they get a bit, they get very upset because they don't understand why they can't see their family, do you know what I mean? They forget, they don't really understand about the virus. It gets them very upset, frustrated, making them feel very lonely. So that's one thing that I am very, very happy about is actually that a lot of old people can now have visit, like not, not even visitors, one visitor per time, but do you know what I mean? Like that's something, that's something nice for them to wake up to knowing that they've got a family member coming in. So that makes me super, super happy. So many people are struggling right now on their own and now they get to see their loved ones again. That really does make me so happy. I'm also so excited to be able to just maybe meet one or two three people outside have a little picnic like you know girl chats you know because obviously you know i have obviously been meeting sometimes i meet my friends um for a socially distance thing and i'm not going to lie and the reason i'm being honest to you guys is because you know i have really bad anxiety um and it's it, it does i struggle with it a lot um i do have medication but i don't take it due to because every time i take an anxiety tablet my heart races like next level races and yes it is one of the side effects but it races and it makes me panic even more like it really doesn't make me calm and then when my brother went on them he said that it took him a month to stop feeling like that and i and my dad was telling me, oh, you shouldn't be on that medication. Like, it's not good for you to rely on medication. So now I take CBD oil, um, which is quite pricey. It's £70 a bottle, but it does do the job. If I feel like anxiety attacks coming on, I feel like I'm, you know, trapped. Um, I take a couple drops of that and it will really calm me down. Um, so, yes, I am not going to lie. I have been sometimes meeting people socially distanced and, you know, just seeing some of my friends. I get tested weekly anyway, but... I just, I know that sounds bad, but I just, for my mental health, I feel like you need them support bubbles, and I don't judge any, really anyone else who goes to meet their friend, like, you know, for that support, because sometimes you feel trapped, sometimes you feel alone, you don't know what situation someone is in, so I see a lot of people out there going straight at people, and, and you know, kind of think what then that person could be going through. I've just had my vaccine, it's okay, it didn't hurt. It felt like a little prick, a little scratch. I didn't film it just because, you know, I don't really want to go against the rules, but um, it's literally just a little needle that goes into your arm and it literally just feels like a scratch. My arm feels so dead. Like, on, and sorry about my hair, guys, it's a bit wet still and it kind of went a bit puffy. But hopefully I just feel tired and a bit dead, but hopefully I don't get any flu symptoms. Apparently it'll get more sore tomorrow, but I feel fine and I just feel a bit achy. I do feel a bit sick, like a bit nauseous, but obviously I haven't got a headache. I have a bit of a metal taste in my mouth, but that might just be me overthinking it. My arm hurts a bit. Well, see, it just doesn't really hurt at all anymore, but when I first got it done, it felt quite tingly and numb. Um, I do feel, yeah, like I said, a bit nauseous, but um, hopefully it will get better. Hopefully tomorrow I'll just feel a bit tired and a bit rubbish. Um, but yeah, other than headaches, anything to do with that, um, I'm literally fine. Um, I'm really hoping I don't be sick because I hate being sick, but it's just one of them things. Everyone's body reacts differently to the vaccine, so it's just something I've got to put up with. But this arm here is hurting so bad. Like, um, I don't really feel sick anymore. I felt really sick earlier, kind of. Um, I didn't really film, so we went out for a walk and I felt a lot better after getting loads of fresh air. It's just me being like, you know, paranoid to it, but I did feel a bit sick. I'll be fine. I feel like I I feel like I might get a couple of symptoms over the next few days just because I feel a bit sick, but like not now. I, I kept feeling sick earlier, but I don't know. 
how I feel right now. I highly recommend it. Like, yeah, you might get a couple of shit symptoms and to be honest, it might be a bit like, you know, a pain in the ass. 90% pr protective and I know that's like, you know, there's a big 10% there, but you know, for just life to go back to normal again, just get the vaccine. It does help us then, like, we can't be trapped in lockdown anymore. It's just, it's not right, do you know what I mean? Like, I can't be bothered for it. I'm, I just want to get life back on track. I want to work. I want my driving test to go ahead. Um, and all of this is just a pain in the ass. So, you know, I feel really sorry for everyone that's, you know, really suffering right now in lockdown because it can be tough. You don't know what situation people are in, in their own household, as well with mental health. Mental health is a big factor here because stuck inside the same walls every day, you know, depression can sink in real bad and, you know, anxiety can go through the roof, you know, and all, and all, all sorts of different mental health issues. And, you know, I just feel like everyone should just get this vaccine if they have the chance and when they get the chance take it these women was going around like oh the government are only doing it to kill us like i don't think that i don't think the government well the government obviously probably would like a less populated place but i don't think that they're going to be setting up a vaccine do you know what i mean just to kill people not true and i feel like all them stories in the media as well saying oh someone died to covid vaccine like I just, that's not true i just don't think that's true just get the vaccine because It'll make your life so much easier. I'm gonna go rest this night. I'm probably get in bed and probably go to sleep early. I'm just gonna go sleep early and then I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Oh, I sounds a bit croaky. I was just coughing, but I don't have COVID. Guys, <laughs> um, I've literally woke up, so sorry if I look like a mess. But um, I didn't really sleep well last night. My arm was aching. Like every time I rolled in my sleep onto my arm. It was so painful, it was so painful. It kept waking me up and I was like, oh my God. And it just weren't good. I don't feel ill at all. Yesterday I felt quite nauseous, but I'm fine today. My arm aches, but you know, I'm so happy that I didn't get properly ill. Like I'm so happy I wasn't being sick. I'm really grateful for that. But you know, like I said, there is gonna be side effects. So if you get off of the vaccine, take it trust me it will make everything go back to normal so much quicker and a lot of people message me as well and how did you get the vaccine um it's because i'm a healthcare worker so that's why i got the vaccine you will get offered the vaccine when it's your turn you'll just get a text message saying to book a vaccine in it might not be till like the end of the year but it, it won't you won't have to wait till next year to get it i don't think i think it will be done by the end of the year hopefully you know we're in march and so many people have been done already so let's pray for the best let's all go back to normal you know the world i can't even remember what it was like really like i miss it like my i left my perfume shop job when covid started two jobs since then the perfume shop was like it wasn't enough pay it was like six pounds an hour and i only had like 10 hour contract a week and too much money again into cambridge and back all the time job i really really loved but you know it was just the people that i work with you know and i'm not saying everyone because most people were nice to me so some people made it really hard for me to work there because they said about me and just things like that like really childish petty stuff um and i just felt like i couldn't take it no more so i left and then i started working at kalina and we lit me and my friend left after the second day because it's just the way they treat people there well, no, this isn't a place to work you know i'm only young i'm not going to stay somewhere that makes me unhappy because i've got the rest of my life to fuck up and make different choices got this really good job like i'm blessed that i got put in such a position because i have literally took a like step back my money situation isn't the best just because i'm doing so much training right now and learning getting better for the job I'm gonna get to the place I want to get to, you know, like I said, I'm doing an MVQ in healthcare now, so I'm really happy, um, at least I can have that, do you know what I mean, and um, when I start college in September, hopefully I'm gonna start doing banking, um, so, you know, I just, I'm, I, I am quite excited, I feel like if you are not happy at your job, um, and you feel like, you know, it's not like the one for you, then definitely 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 just consider leaving like you could literally find a really good job that you want to do just because you took that courage to leave you know what i mean that is literally it for today's video guys 
I'm sorry that if it was a bit boring, I just thought I'd share my journey on the vaccine. If any more symptoms, I'll let you guys know. Within the weeks, I've got videos coming up this week. It just feels like I'm gonna have a shit arm ache the rest of the day. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you get offered the vaccine, definitely take it. If you have any questions or anything like that for me, then definitely drop me a message in the comments or message me on my social media accounts, which will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.